Hiya, it's Goblin Senchman here. Um, so, some of you by now have, have probably seen my videos on YouTube which show you how to use, or how you can use, um, spreadsheets to present module information in a super compact fashion. So, um, I did a how-to video based on this Halls Unto Ward which show you how to, shows you how you can do it. And essentially what I did was I took this module which had I don't know, it was quite a few pages and had 70 or, 70 or so encounters and I managed to boil down that information into one page like this such that when you hover over the pop-up it tells you what's going on in each square. And so as you can see, you can get all that information into a pretty small space um, for ease of reference. So recently, um, this product here became available called Veins Crawl by uh, Skirples. He has a blog, Coins and Scrolls. If you're not familiar with that blog, please check it out because there's some pretty imaginative and uh, creative stuff going on there. Very interesting ideas. And so recently, in fact, I think today, he, um, he made available this product here. There you go. Download for free. It's amazing that this product is free because so much work has gone into it. Um, and this is the bit that I'm chiefly interested in. Can I use my spreadsheet idea to present a hex crawl in a super compact fashion using, um, using Excel, using a spreadsheet? So let's just have a look at this, this product. So it runs to 112 pages. As I said, it's amazing that it's free given all the work that's involved. And there's lots of really amazing sort of background information and, and, and random generators and tables, all that good stuff and art. Um, so essentially what um, Skirples is doing and company is trying to um, take something like Veins of the Earth and, and presenting it in a kind of setting, so um, applying it so that you can see directly how to do it rather than, um, you know, I guess, wading through the, the tome that is Veins of the Earth and, and figuring it itself. I think it's essentially like an introductory kind of thing and I really hope he makes it available in hard copy at some point. So. The bit I'm interested in is page 87, which is uh, um, Appendix 5, which basically tells you what's going on in these hexes. So if I scroll down, you'll see that there's, I don't know, 16 or, 16 or so pages, um, uh, mainly because if you look at this map, you've got 16 columns and 10 or 9 encounters on each square. So you're looking at sort of 150 or so encounters. So what I did was I had a go at putting that into a spreadsheet. So here's the credit page. It's always nice to give credit where credit's due. Um, for example, there's a little pop-up if you want to Google the people, or follow, type in the web page. And here's the hex crawl. So I downloaded the map from uh, Skirple's website and um, I didn't resize it because it seemed almost a bit of a crime to uh, resize um, this object, which is you know very pretty. Um, I was playing with this earlier actually, so I've actually left in the grid, which I shouldn't have done. <coughs> Excuse me. You, let's turn that grid off. It looks nice without the grid. Right, back to where I was. So what happens is if you hover over the hex, this pop-up appears and tells you what's going on. And I've colour-coded them to sort of represent the, the critters that, that are in each square. So there you go, you've got this ghoul fortress or city. Um, one thing I should say, I suppose, is that um, you can also edit this if you want. You could edit the comment and you could maybe make your own notes, you know, characters, you know, killed the boss. Or, you know, oops, booze, the boss. But you could also just change, you know, if you didn't if you didn't think Skirples was, was up to the mustard, couldn't cut it, as it were, you could sort of rewrite the whole thing. But, you know, obviously I'm kidding there. Um, so that's basically it. One thing I should show you, I suppose, is behind the scenes a little bit. So um, if I um, remove the background, just so you can see the behind the scenes, and I put back that grid, view grid on, you see that it's slightly more tricky to set up the, set up the, the thing to start with because you've got to merge the Excel cells to form this stagger so that it na more naturally follows the grid. I mean, in theory, you could just make very small grids and, and, and keep it, keep it um, just make sure you capture one grid within the hex to do the pop-up. Anyway, that's the idea. Um, have a play, see what you think. Um, feedback appreciated. And download um, Skirples' as, um, PDF, it's great. And this, this thing is to accompany it uh, for DMs who want to use this idea.